Hey, my name is Radu. In this video I will show you how to create a population pyramid chart in Excel. Whew, that was hard to spell. Uh, so, what is this chart? It's the chart that shows you how old or how young a country really, really is. For example, this is the chart for Romania. And you can see that Romania is an aging country. For example, you can see that older people are more than younger people. So we need to have more babies. Okay, this is what we want to do. Excel doesn't offer... Uh, don't, doesn't offer a template for uh, this kind of thing, but we can tweak a bar chart to make it look like this. Okay, let's start. First of all, let's look at the data. Uh, you'll see here that I have a simple table with uh, the age category, men and women. But I also have a column D that is a little bit odd at first sight. I mean, it's the same uh, value, but with a minus sign. The idea is the following. If I select this, Okay, and then uh, go and insert uh, a bar chart. I will see that all the data is marked on the right, but I need to have men on the right, women on the left. Okay, this is why I created the D column. So I'll have the some values on the left. Basically, left means negative. Okay, let's select the whole table here and go into the insert and Let's see, uh, bar chart. Okay, and moving on with this chart, I wanna make it bigger so you can see what I am doing here. Uh, first of all, I would like to remove data here, okay? I have women on the left, men on the right, but also women on the, on the right. This is why I'm going to go into the select data and remove, I think it's this one, the C column. Okay, hit the minus sign and then click OK. Okay, you can see that we're moving on. So the next thing that I want to do is to have uh, the lines on the, same, on the same level. You can see here that basically the line is above, you know, the, the gray line is above the blue line. So to do this, I'm gonna right click, right click on uh, this data label. Right clicking is harder than you than you think here. <laughs> okay, uh, what I want to do is to toggle this overlap. I want to move it to 100% because in this way they will be on the same level. Okay, and also the gap width. I mean the the distance between uh, two lines is too big, so I'll make it maybe on around. 20%. Let's see how it looks. I think it looks better. Okay. Moving on. Uh, what we want to do next is to change the order. I mean, I want to have it from zero to have it here on the bottom and 100 here at the top. To do this, we can edit uh, this axis, right click on it, format axis, and we'll look for a toggle that says categories in re reverse order. Okay. We're almost close, we want to change the color. And we'll say that we'll have, um, let's say a solid fill, but let's say maybe a pink color to be more accurate, more, more clear, okay? They are pretty similar, but I think that's weird. It's like I have men, women here in the legend in the reverse order. I mean, I would like to have women and men if this is the chart. So I would like to change also this. I'm going to go into select data and just move women up here in the legend series. Click OK. Pretty much done. Just have to copy this, this text, put it here, hit paste and that's it. So this is how you do. A, you create a population pyramid chart in uh, in Excel. You start from the data. We want to make sure that you have a section of the data with a negative sign. Uh, you move on. You create all all of this. You make sure that you want to have overlapping uh, data series. Also, maybe changing the gap width. You don't want to have like very far away uh, lines. And also maybe changing the the axis labels to have them in uh, reverse order. Pretty simple and a pretty, pretty clear uh, chart. Okay, that was it. Thanks for, uh, for watching. If this video was helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. 
follow my YouTube channel for more videos and also check out my website at radupopa.co for more articles and videos.